If you're still in Champion Select, then you can still go for someone like Morgana. Her shield is insanely powerful versus champions that rely on one single ability to start their combo. Leona can deny him if she stuns him after being grabbed, and Alistar actually wants to be grabbed, so he'll stand in front of your ADC. Thresh for his lantern, Janna for her disengage, and Bran for the counter engage are all viable counters too. Blitzcrank's passive grants him a shield every 90 seconds when he's below 20% HP. This is such a baiter for most ADCs. Don't forget about it and dive. I'm sure you know of his Q, his very infamous pull. It has really high cooldown, so keep that in mind and play more aggressively after he misses it. His W gives him movement speed and attack speed, which will allow him to come close and pull you. His E will make his next auto attack knock an enemy up, and his ultimate deals AP damage in a large radius around him while also silencing for half a second. This ability will also randomly make Blitz strike lightning on nearby enemies and has a really low cooldown when maxed. His combo is very simple, W for movement speed to get near, and then either Q or E first depending on how close he got, and finish it up with whichever he didn't use first. His ultimate is also very powerful, not for the damage, but for the silence which prevents people from fighting back for a bit. Most Blitzcranks will bring exhaust because it allows them to easily hit a Q, but Ignite is also a viable choice for a more aggressive early game. You can also take either if you're playing support. Okay, so this guy is pure early game, but will remain useful provided he picks up the most important targets in the enemy team. His levels 1 with his pull, 2 with his knockup, and 6 with his silence make him a constant lane threat. Moby's boots will make him fast as hell, and face of the mountain can even make him a better support with a shield. Most teams with blitzcranks invade, so be careful and warn your jungler there's a blitz on the other side. Dodge the pull. If you can't, then fight your way out of it by going for the enemy ADC. If you try to run away, you're probably going down. Thank you for tuning in, and remember, his combo really relies on hitting a pull first. His ultimate silences you for a bit, so take that time to position yourself better, and also don't be baited because of his passive shields. Ultimately, have fun doing it.